Hey everybody, welcome back. This is video 5 of the Armatime remote build. Uh, today we are going to go over soldering everything up as far as the VTX and the um, receiver. <laughs> it's a very funny word, receiver. So uh, we're going to jump into that real quick. Check this out. Before you get too far, you're going to have to take your flight controller off and put on your battery wires. This is for your um, LiPo battery to hook up. Your power is going to go on this side and your ground is going to go on that side. You should be 14 AWG. Get your trimmers out. Make sure you have the right slot. Take about 3 eighths of an inch off at each end. And tin both pads or ends of the wires and tin the pads. Make sure you got nothing in the way. Pad nice and hot. You don't want to get it too hot for too long, or the solder on the other side of the board will come loose. So In there. Two shiny beads is exactly what you want. And tin the ends of the wires. Give them a quick twist at the end. Heat them up. Solder will flow right into the wire. Spin at the end to make sure there's no frays. Do the other side. Wrap it again. Good to go. Watch the other end of it. It is hot. And done. These are a little longer than I typically like to use, so I'm going to trim off about eighth of an inch on that. You should probably wear safety glasses for this. It does shoot.
all right so we said our ground was on this side I'm gonna run this how they do for the pro builds from the site so in order to do that the wires gonna have to go past the flight controller around the front and up behind the camera pretty simple Just get in there get it wet nice and melted One. We'll watch our gummy on the other side. Okay, a couple things real quick before we finish picking up our uh, VBAT lead here. Um, you ever get confused which is ground and which one is power? If you look at your XT connector, it's not exactly round. But if you take the G off of ground, round, it kind of adds up. So your power is always going to be the flat side. Your ground will always be round. Pretty simple. Um, Something I like to do, you do not have to do, but these get hot very fast. These posts will melt the plastic. When the posts melt the plastic, these guys become unparallel, unperpendicular, and it will not plug into your battery. You will fight with it and fight with it. You'll have to remelt the plastic, probably switch your tip. What I like to do is add another piece to it, and this is the part that would go into the battery. There's no battery attached to it, obviously, but what this does is allows heat to travel into the wire and out the other end that way you're not overheating the plastic in the middle and destroying your battery clip so I like to hook this up like so also it gives you something to hold on to a little bit better once you very carefully try to melt this into here if I can and get rid of that I guess that on an angle over here not burn myself and all we need is this enough to just melt a little bit set and grab that's all we need for right now this is just sort of uh, tack welding it together to hold it in place we'll come back later and we'll reinforce it Make sure you got something to keep it steady. And don't burn yourself. I run my iron at 420 degrees, pretty hot. A lot of people say you shouldn't go that hot, but I'd rather be fast with it in and out then overheat anything and fry it. I'm just gonna get that to temp real quick, let that sit. This should be enough to hold it. Like so. And I'll come back and I'll seal both sides. So warm. Should be already preheated because it just melted. Just want enough for this to travel down inside the joint. set I'll repeat the process on the other side that's hot Woo. so I just grab this with something else aside from my finger bring it over make sure you're not over anything else that the solder may splash in because you'll have a bad day 
I'm going to hold this with the iron. I'm going to add the solder. Let it fill. Cap. Set. Done. Allow that to cool down for a little bit. Just blow on it real quick. Should be good. Go ahead and disconnect the battery part of it. Good to go. You got your buzzer hooked up. It's on the bottom of the all-in-one flight controller right here. There are pads down there. Uh, BB plus, BB negative. Uh, quite typically in situations like this, your longer um, wire from the buzzer or capacitor, the longer one will be the ground, the shorter one will be the negative. So I did in this case, um, just double check on yours to make sure that's correct before you plug anything in. So two things I'm going to do real quick before we proceed any further is initiate the continuity test. My ohm meter here. Doesn't really matter which way these go, just hook them up. That was weird. Okay, nothing. Signal. Nothing. Okay. So, it's gonna check this real fast, plug it in. Good to go so far. So all our ESCs and our motors are correct. Uh, this is running with the RSXR receiver here, which supports telemetry itself. So the extra wires here that came with the ESCs are not going to be of any use to us. I'm going to trim them off and get ready to install the camera wires. They should just come off here. Boom. One's gone. This guy around the corner here, snip this. Out of the way. I'll go ahead and just flip this over. Be careful not to cut anything else, otherwise you're going to do a whole lot of work you don't want to do. That out of there. And that. Just pull this off. That out of the way. Everything's out where it's supposed to be. I like to keep all my extra wires tucked. They're not really extra, but like so here. Put this down through the bottom. Keep it in line with the other ones. And then do the same thing with this. This helps them stay neat. So that's done. We're going to wire up the camera now. To wire up the camera, we're going to need the following pads. We're going to need our Sam Cam C here, um, our Cam S, our positive and our negative pads. I'm going to go ahead and tin those up.
Oops. I bridged a pad. That's not good. Luckily enough, that's easy to fix. You just swipe down the center. Try to clean the tip. Like so. No more bridge. Clean this one up on the side here a little bit. Get that hair tail out of there. And we're good. Bring the camera wires down about so. That should be good. Go ahead and trim here. Make sure there's enough left over. Because this will need to move at some point in time. You don't want this locked up. A little extra there. Never hurt anything. I'm going to get those trimmed up and tinned. That should be pretty easy to do. Negative, positive, signal. And the other wire. All nice and neat. So we have our VTX here. We also have our card. Now, what's on the card is if you're facing it this way. So if you want to work on this and you're going the other way with it, make sure that you flip everything. Otherwise, you're going to mess something up really bad. What I'm going to do is, since our plug goes like this, I am not going to hook this up. I know this goes this way, but I'm going to remove the 5 volt out and the extra pins that we don't need out of this. That way we don't have loose wires hanging around. So to get everything going for this, we have our TBS Unified Pro on here. This is the race edition. Um, it has VBAT capability for up to 4S. You have your ground. Um, there's your 5 volt out for the camera, another ground for the camera. You have your video signal and then you have your smart audio. I have went ahead and removed the pins that we are not going to need. So if you're looking at this, you have this plugged in, it's going to be, you need the first two, skip two, then the next two you're going to need, and the last one is not needed. So, I'm going to plug this in, nice little click, and then how I want to set my VTX up is going to be on the bottom of the top plate, about like so. So I'm going to pull my wires out to about here because conveniently enough all of our VTX pads are right here in a row that I'm going to use. We have our VTS-X, that's our signal. We have our VTS, VTX plus, VTX negative, and our TX4, which means that our telemetry, uh, our OSD or whatever is going to be set up on UART4. So. I'm going to move this all the way back here, a little bit extra, pull my fingers up past where I'm going to cut. I'm going to go ahead and trim this. And then I'm going to disconnect this again. Move that out of the way. And I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'm going to go ahead and trim these wires, tin them, and get them on the pad. Okay, so it's... A a little difficult to see here in the camera, but as I said, um, this is our wire for our TBS Unify here. I have this wired up. 
we have our signal we have our power we have our ground and we have our telemetry here set up to TX4 so that literally is all that we are going to need for this we can go ahead and plug this in and that is all set so we have our camera done we have our VTX done next thing that we're going to do here is use our RSXR receiver that came with it. This is the receiver chosen by Armaton for this build. Uh, pretty much you cannot buy it without it for some odd reason. I don't know. It makes you pick something and this was the only thing that was available that I could use. So we're going to get into that next. We have our RSXR receiver here and from the top to bottom for our wires we have our ground, we have our 5 volt, we have our S port our S bus out CPPM and then we have our S bus in wire. Now we're going to be using this for telemetry so our black and our red wires are going to go right here. Our S bus port, uh, pad is right next to it and our telemetry is right there. So I'm going to get those pads tinned up first and then cut the wires. If you want to use your telemetry on this for your transmitter you take your uh, yellow wire and you solder it to that little pad right there under the P that I happen to rip off so I will not be doing that <laughs> in this build at least um, that is very fragile it got caught and literally just popped right off so do not do what I do make it stick and be very careful with that um, we have our S bus power and ground wire I'm going to wire up here real quick so in the event that you wanted to use your telemetry, you will have used this pad over here and then this little pad with the P over here. Don't do what I do. I was holding on to it and I pulled the wrong way and I snapped it off. So that's going to be a thing in this build. But we are still going to go ahead with this. And this is our receiver wire. So the first thing I'm going to need off here to the side is my ground. And I'm going to need my 5 volts. And I'm going to need my S bus. There. So this is all hooked up right here. Ready to go. All you have to do is plug this back in, like so. Just for ease of mind to make sure I didn't screw anything up big time, I'm going to go ahead and conduct a continuity test on this. Everything is good. That is our camera, our VTX, and our receiver all hooked up. So before we plug this in, now that the VTX is now powered, you always want to make sure that you have your antenna hooked up or you will fry it. So, to prevent that, we're going to go ahead and get this hooked up. can barely get finger grip in there. It's kind of annoying. Like, I get it's supposed to protect it, but it could have gave just a hair more room to work with. I'm going to my players lightly try to finish tightening it. I 
that should be good. I don't want to strip anything. So, everything out of the way. Our VTX is up. Our receiver is out there. Everything else is plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. VTX has power. Link in there. Our receiver has power. Flight controller has power. And you heard the ESCs. So that is everything right here. I'm going to go ahead and get everything positioned and wrap this up. If you want, there is an extra piece of shrink wrap. Even though the VTX is already pre wrapped, you can take it's pretty well secured on the bottom. You can move it up a little bit, and then that way you can make it shrink down around your plug here to help secure it. I went ahead and wrapped mine again. That's a little filmy. But it's on there. You still hit the button right there on the side. Good to go. So here we go after not too long. This is the regular part of the drone. This is the Armaton Marmot. Buzzer, VTX, camera, receiver, ESC's motor. Everything all hooked up, ready to go. Um, I left my receiver here just inside the top of this rail here upside down easy access from the bottom the bind buttons right there reach right in and get it VTX is right here the button for it easily accessible right there on the outside anytime I need that it's right there we have our SD card slot right there ready along with our USB uh, port right there. Everything nice and neat. Two more things I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw the strap on, zip tie down the ESCs. Here is the finished product. This is the Armaton Marmot, Marmoti, whatever you want to call it. I took some uh, of the extra zip tie tails, put it down inside there, add some shrink wrap to the receiver, give it a nice little raise right there out of the way VTX antenna right underneath of it zip tied outside of the ESC's I still left the two sided tape underneath of it give it a little forgiveness should it hit anything battery strap installed receiver bind button through the bottom and that is it for the build so we have this we getting into the configuration of it next and go from there. Hope you like this video on this build series from the Mar Armaton Marmot. Okay, so here we are again. Armaton Marmot. We got the uh, VTX on, the receivers hooked up and everything like that. Did the continuity test on it. So I'm going to do a little end questionnaire for this real quick. The newbie build part of this, if there's uh, any questions that my lovely wife has. Um, when you do the continuity test, what does that do slash mean? Continuity test basically means that you are checking for a shorted circuit between a power and a ground anywhere in the build. So you have your power and ground here for your XT60 cable, mm -hmm. you have your pads here for your motors, your ESCs, anything um, that may accidentally bridge or be backwards will, instead of um, closing this or opening the circuit and leave it so there is no interaction, we'll actually close it and then power from the ground and power will connect and then if you turn that on and that loops everything together, things start popping and smoking and it's a bad day. <laughs> mm. Oh, what does telemetry mean? Telemetry is information that is sent back from the flight controller through your goggles so you can see uh, there's a lot of different things. The speed of your motors, the amps that your ESCs are pulling, uh, so on and so forth like that. 
voltage drain from the battery. All right. And then when you're getting like the flight controller set up and all the wires soldered onto there, um, there's all the different color wires. How do you know which one goes where? That's a good question. Um, for the most part, you just refer to the card. Uh, your black is always going to be ground, your red is always going to be your power. Um, most times uh, people will use the yellow for like SBUS from the receiver, um, signal, you have your smart audio, um, you also use your yellow on your camera for your smart audio or your um, signal. Uh, smart audio more times than that will be green. Uh, if there's any ever a question in your mind though, you can just refer to the card that comes with whatever component that you are working with. Just make sure, like I said in the video, that you're holding it the appropriate way and that you know how your wires are going. That way you don't get them backwards. All right. It's kind of easy to do if you're not paying attention. That's all the questions I've got. That's all the questions she's got. Yep. All right. Well, that completes the main part of this build. So, um, for now, that's going to do it. We're going to have probably two more videos on this. We're going to do the beta flight, the PID tuning. Um, probably going to do another video uh, individually on the components themselves. Flight controller, VTX, ESCs. Um, go over them a little bit more in depth as far as like beta flight wise but for now that's all we have so again we have the Armatime Armo thank you everybody for watching I'll have another video